Tenchu Stealth Assassins was released in 1998 for the Sony PlayStation and was developer acquires first foray into game development and they did a pretty damn good job for their first game. Now in this game you take on the role of either Rikimaru or Ayami, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I've never really played as, as Ayami, I've always really played as Rikimaru. Not for any sexist thing, just because Rikimaru's a big ass dude with a cool sword, so there we go. Now both of them, they are of, they are of the Azuma clan, and ninja clan, I might obviously want to specify, and they take on missions during the Sengoku era of Japan, which is an awesome era of Japan. Well, I mean, looking back, in hindsight, it's probably a bit gnarly being there with all the fighting and stuff, but the game relies heavily on a stealthy approach being a ninja-esque game, and although you can go balls out and just hack and slash away, stealth is still more the the option you'd want to take, as there are dogs and loads of enemies that will come at you and you can die very, very easily. But the controls are the only thing on this game that have aged terribly. The graphics obviously have aged the same as all other PS1 games, but there has a certain charm. The controls, however, were fighting me the whole way. However, onto the characters. Rikimaru is the character with more health and obviously is a, a bit slower, and Ayami has a lot more speed, so she doesn't have as much health, but she's a lot faster, and she has two swords, which is also really cool. So you can pick a playstyle that suits you and just get shanking. Before each mission, you can choose a variety of items to use, like health packs, shurikens, cow drops, poisoned rice for dogs, trail markers, smoke bombs, and other bombs, etc. It's really cool and adds to trying different things with each run. And it was also good to point out that if you die on said run and you try and replay, those items that you took with you are then gone. So, you know, you, there's that added level of difficulty for you. You also have a grappling hook, which gets you onto rooftops and over walls and does come in handy. There are enemies that do get up on roofs in later levels, so you can't always escape by doing that. But it is still pretty cool to use. And it's a bit fiddly with how it works, but it, it works absolutely fine for the time, I suppose. Now, if you can fight the controls enough to approach an enemy stealthily, you'll get an instant satisfying stealth kill, which is awesome, and the blood just spills everywhere in graphic, cartoonish fashion, which is so damn cool. You get rankings for each mission, depending on how well you do. In my case, proper shite. But I bet there are some pros out there that do incredibly well all the time. Now, Tenchu was a massive success and is thought of very fondly by gamers of around my age group in late 30s, early 40s, and is one hell of a PS1 game. It sold 1.4 million copies worldwide and was received positively by critics and fans and spawned eight sequels, including another PS1 entry in Tenchu 2, which I've only had a little go on and it's, in my opinion, not quite as good as the first game, but still pretty good. But... I haven't played all the others. I think I've had a little go on the Xbox 360 one. I think it's called Tenchu Z. But apart from that, I've, I've, I've mainly ever really stuck with the original Tenchu game. Now, unfortunately, the Tenchu series has been long dead. But in this day and age of HD remasters, of all the old classics, fingers crossed for an updated Tenchu. Maybe Tenchu 1 and 2 with cleaned up graphics and better controls and just any of the old bugs or glitches just ironed out because we're having Soul Reaver very, very soon. We're finally getting Sweet Coden. Luna is coming out as well in HD remastered form. Croc, Legend of the Kobos, is getting a remaster. I'm fairly certain we can get some Tenchu action going. We need to get more Tenchu. Was Tenchu awesome back in the day? Absolutely. Is it awesome to a younger, more modern gamer? Probably not. It has aged, of course. I'm not just going to have the nostalgia goggles on and say, no, no, this is amazing. If you don't like it, you're wrong. That's not the case. A lot. Some games age incredibly well, like Final Fantasy IX. Other games from that era just don't. And unfortunately, Tenchu it falls into the more sort of doesn't, however, but it's still a really good game, especially if you're a collector. But like I said, if it gets updated with the graphics HD'd up, the controls tidied up and polished up and a few other things done to it just to make it a bit more modern and, and even like even if they brought this tenchu out and then i don't know if they could but imagine or if they just remade the game you don't have to it doesn't have to be super realistic lifelike quadruple a ubisoft <laughs> quality um of course that's a joke just so we're clear um it doesn't have to look realistic and lifelike just make it just make it look really good and you just imagine a tenchu game where there's like a roguelite mode where you could you just go through all these randomly generated missions and see how long you go with your supplies dwindling and maybe regain supplies between each mission and just and, and the difficulty and the amount of enemies or whatever just increases or decreases depending on the path you take. That is a really cool idea. 
perhaps somebody needs to do that. Get on that, please. But please let me know in the comments down below if you have any experience with the Tenchu games. And as always, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>